Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Let's uh, let's get started. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me get this uh, kicked off. This is a special day today. So, uh, good afternoon and welcome. On behalf of the USDA, I'm pleased to welcome you to this very special program today. Uh, my name is Scott Hutchins, and I serve as a Deputy Undersecretary for Research, Education, and Economics, the mission area where our National Agricultural Statistics Service, or NAS, uh, resides. So it's a great, uh, great pleasure to see you here today to celebrate with the USDA the release of the Census of Agriculture. And everyone involved in it, from the incredible staff at NAS who collect and compile the data, to the many uh, commodity groups and ag organizations who help spread the word about the data collection process, and now hopefully will utilize that data for uh, insights. Uh, and of course, to the farmers and ranchers who respond through a, a range of uh, methods. Indeed, the Census of Agriculture is a truly remarkable accomplishment matched only by its value to inform policymakers and agricultural businesses alike. And really anyone who works in or supports U.S. farming and ranching will gain insights from this census. USDA is science-based and data-driven in everything we do, focused on solutions that matter and measurable impact. The data from the census, along with the scores of other reports from NAS, is at the core of this philosophy, and I could not be more proud of the team and the administrator, uh, Mr. Hubert Hamer, for the work that they do. And in fact, it's my great pleasure and honor right now to introduce Mr. Hamer, who's the administrator of the National Agricultural Statistics Service. So, Herbert. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hutchins. I appreciate your strong leadership. You haven't been with us long at REE, but you've brought a strong focus on strategic planning and aligning the REE programs, process, processes, and human uh, uh, resources together. So we appreciate that. And to my NAS family and team, what a great day for us. It's been a long time coming, and we're just so proud that we could be here to help uh, disseminate the, the results and talk about those a little bit. Uh, before we get into that, I'd also like to thank our distinguished guests and partners. We have a lot of friends, a lot of people that helped us along the way with outreach and a lot of other activities surrounding the, the Census of Agriculture. But I want to take a moment now to uh, thank this amazing NAS team for your outstanding work and incredible sacrifice over the last five years. It's been a lot of work and a long time coming. I want to start with our field office staff and enumerators our headquarters staff here, and again, our strategic partners that have been with us all the way along the way. So it's been a tremendous team effort, and we appreciate that. Mr. Secretary, I don't want to get caught up in talking about this team, but it's a phenomenal group, and we really appreciate what they have, what they have accomplished. Through all of the planning, outreach, collection, analysis, and dissemination activities, we've stuck together as a team and got this job done. We'll have a lot of time to celebrate later this afternoon. If anyone wants to join us, we'll talk to you about that. And then next week at the Administrator's Awards of Excellence program. So we'll have some time to celebrate together NAS. And now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce a man who needs no introduction. He's known everywhere. He's leading by example, going directly to our customers to carry the message from USDA. He's visited 49 states, and I hear number 50 is on the way pretty soon. I want to personally thank the Secretary for his tremendous support and for tirelessly promoting the Census and our other program activities. It's given us a real boost. When the Secretary stands up and talks about the importance of the data and the decisions that will be made, it's very important to us, and it really helps us when we reach out to other groups and other organizations. So. Right now, audience, I need some audience participation. So I'm going to ask you to stand and help me uh, welcome the 31st Secretary of Agriculture, the Honorable Sonny Perdue, as I present the results from the 2017 Census of Agriculture. Mr. Secretary. Thank you very much, Hubert. You 
sure know how to command a standing ovation. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, while uh, I know you're proud of your team, but we're proud of you as well and your leadership, you mentioned that Dr. Hutchins had just been with us really a, a few months now, and you all had started this a long time ago. But you've been here with us a little bit longer than that, have you not? How long have you been here? 40 years. We're going to round up. 40 years. <laughs> We believe in statistics, don't we? So uh, 39.6, so we're going to call it 40 years. And uh, in light of that leadership and the great team that you've established over at NAS, we want to recognize you this morning before we get into talking about the census. So I'd like to come forward and give you something here, a recognition of your 40 years of service to Hero. Thank you very much. <laughs> and a pen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The type of information you and your team, the integrity of the of the confidentiality that's gone on for a number of years, you're truly a uh, a world class act in the National uh, Agricultural Statistical Service. is uh, an amazing group. The world depends on you and and what you do, and certainly this census and all this information is going to be uh, vitally important to policy decisions, investment decisions going forward. So this is an important day as we announce the release of the 2017 Census of Agriculture. It's really kind of part of America, done every five years. It's almost as old as the national census, you may know. The first agricultural census was done, guess when? 1840. You're smart students up here right on the front there. 1840, uh, even before there was a Department of Agriculture, conducted in conjunction with the decennial census that was performed by Commerce. So NAS conducts this census of agriculture every five years, a complete count, of all of our U.S. farmers, ranches, and the people who operate them. And we've got more information, more detailed information about those people that operate them in this census this year. I was pretty surprised if you ever sent out a survey and trying to get a response, 71.8% response is pretty doggone good for anything. So uh, that's a great. I know it took a lot of conjoling, sometimes calling and prompting and many other things, but you enumerators and you folks that have been responsible did a wonderful job in uh, uh, allowing, really contributing to an accurate analysis of farmers, ranchers, producers, who are growing and producing our food, fiber, fuel for a hungry world. So this, uh, this little book here, it may not look like it, but it contains 6.4 million points of data. So uh, y'all read it and memorize all that, okay? Uh, it's uh, about, that data is about the farms, ranches, and about those who operate them. This is the only source of comprehensive, unbiased agricultural data for every state and county in the nation, and even the small plots of land, whether it be rural or urban, count if more than $1,000 of agricultural products were raised and sold or would be during the census year. That's pretty granular, is it not? $1,000 constitutes a small farm, and they're in the book part of that 6.4 million points of data. So, Dr. Hutchins mentioned, we try to pride ourselves on being facts-based, data-driven. And this is the data that we rely on many times in making those policy decisions for the USDA. We have to have data like this to rely on to help us improve American agriculture. Uh, NASA is the only organization in America dedicated to collecting and disseminating agricultural statistics that are available to the public equally, free of charge, and at the same time, you got it when? Noon today? Noon today. Everybody got your copy, so good deal. So, uh, and our agencies, including REE, as well as all of our mission areas, rely on uh, the data in the census of agriculture. After the 2012 agricultural census, NAS it's continually improved, met with producers and users and stakeholders to gain feedback on what data that they would present to, to utilize and would be helpful to present a more useful 
an accurate picture. And they determined that the 2017 census should accurately measure the contribution of all persons involved in the operations and production. Typically, we had just had one operator there. Most of you in the farm business and farmers themselves know that it's usually much more than that. Here are just a few bits of information that we learned in this 2017 census, some of which may surprise you, most of which probably will not. There are 2.04 million farms and ranches, which is down 3.2% from 2012. But I was pleasantly surprised when we hear a lot about corporate farming, industrial farming, do you realize that 96% of our farms are family owned? I think that's again, the history and the structure and the strength of American agriculture. The average size of these farms is 441 acres, up just a little bit, uh, about 1.6%, and they cover over 900 million acres, which is down 1.6% which means that we're losing some arable land in this country, which ought to be a concern for all of us uh, for the future. There are fewer middle-sized farms with increases there, but larger farms of 2,000 acres more increase. Fewer farms accounted for the majority of agricultural products sold, and uh, 100,000, 105,000 farms produced 75% of all sales in 2017 and that's down from 119,000 in 2012. But you all can read all those statistics. I want you all to have it read by Monday morning, and we'll have a test on it, about 6.4 million data points. So uh, the great news we have is the participation of demographics of our farmers. 11% of all producers have served in the military, veterans, and are 16 to 7.9 years of age. The average work age of all of our workers is 57.5, which is uh, surprisingly up 1.2 years. So I don't think gaining 1.2 years in five years is bad, though, do you? So uh, uh, there are over 321,000 young producers. You know that USDA is concerned about our young beginning farmers, uh, age 35 or less, and more than 240,000 farms. And the farms of young producers, surprisingly, tended to be larger than those with uh, older producers. And one in four producers, 25% is a beginning farmer with 10 or few, fewer years of experience. So here's a statistic you women may like. Female producers, surprise, surprise, are most heavily engaged in the day-to-day -day decision making along with record keeping and financial management. If you've ever been to a family farm, mama's there. She's out there working. And many times from the tractor to the grain cart to keeping the books and paying the bills, we know what females contribute to American agriculture. 36% of all producers are female and 56% of all farms have at least one female decision maker title boss. But uh, farmers are becoming more innovative as we know all the time, really more energy conscious. And this is born out here. The number of farms with renewable energy systems on their operation more than doubled from 2012 to 2017. Farmers with solar panels almost tripled. You see them driving around the countryside now. More farms are using no-till practices, reduced tillage on more than 29 million acres of cropland 2017. Why is that important? That means those farmers are contributing to less greenhouse gas, more capture of the carbon in the soil, which is what we want to happen. Increasing number of farmers, uh, farms up 15.2% over planted cover crops. Acres and covered crops increased almost 50%. Another good news story in the carbon capture and the better water quality of, uh, of production. So the initial snapshot review shows that American farmers are adapting and innovating. It also shows that they're involved in sound conservation practices. So thank you folks. The census of agriculture continues to tell the amazing story of US agriculture, how it's changing. American farmers are family farmers and have strong values and faith in their lives. Before we finish, as I close, I'd like our NAS team to stand up and let everybody give them a hand. So please stand up for all the NAS team.
So you can look at this as the five-year lockup here. So that's, uh, that's what they've done, been collecting this information for five years. So thank you. As a data-driven agency, we at USDA are looking forward to digging deeper into this rich vein of data that you've provided for us, as well as many others around the United States and around the world. So thank you, NAS members, for under this massive undertaking. The American people are definitely enriched and blessed with such a great snapshot in the 2017 Census of Agriculture. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Well, we certainly appreciate you being here to celebrate with us. I have a gift for those who participated in the activity a few minutes ago. We have cake and punch for all of our visitors. We're going to ask all of the NAS staff to come up for a photo with the Secretary. So with that, you can enjoy the cake and punch for your other activity, and then we will join you just in a couple of minutes. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. <laughs>